NHL playoffs game three. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know exactly what the play I'm going to make in this video is. But first, let's recap last night's picks. I put them throughout multiple entries, so I don't have like a full six month to show you. But just from last night's video, Drew Holiday and Kyrie Irving, both under under rebounds, assists and under points, rebounds, assists are the two picks that cash. The rest did not hit. Kyrie Irving popped off last night, even though Dallas didn't win. He cashed that over two and a half, three points made. We had the under. Tatum also did not get that rebound. But I did tell you the under RA was the play. That would have cashed if you went with that. Then the blocks and steals, Tatum and Drew both had one each, but neither of them got that two for the more. So although it wasn't the best night in terms of the YouTube picks, I did manage to cash with that Drew Holiday pick here on the under 25 points you want to assist. This was the most popular pick on Price Picks last night. There was over 100,000 people on the over. And I told you in last night's video, the under is the correct play. Whether it would have hit or not, it was always the correct play because of the value we we're getting on Price Picks compared to all the other sports picks we're at 24 and a half. And they had it juice towards the under. So I went with the under 25 PRA. It was a bit of a sweat, honestly, but the fourth quarter, he did pretty much nothing. And then we ended up cashing this for 27.5x, right? Because this was a star player. And I said, put as many star players into your entries as possible because you're going to get that extra 2.5 units. You see, the other slip here, I had Tatum on his under fantasy score. This was almost a 10x. That would have been an 11x because of that star player. And similar concept here. We just needed Ozuna to get a run. I believe he got on third base twice in this specific game and he could not get run in even once. So that was really unfortunate. I went with Tatum under blocks as the star player here. And then another play here would carry on his offensive rebounds. I went with the less. That also cashed, but unfortunately, Vientos ended up chalking the slip. That being said, let's get onto the board. I'm going to be making that NHL slip that you guys are probably used to right now with the goals allowed that I stack up with the points and assists. But I will also be making a four power in the WNBA. So there's gonna be two slips for tonight. But before the slips, I did want to mention one thing about the Euros. So if you guys don't know, soccer Euros are starting this Friday. I don't know if a lot of you are interested in this. That's why I'm asking you guys, would you like some more soccer plays within these entries throughout the Euros? It's gonna last one month. And I can even give you guys one of these futures bets. So basically, these props are all going to last until the end of the Euros and you can make a nice six man and post it on the channel. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments because I know a lot of people don't really care about soccer, but the Euros is a big tournament. I know I'm personally going to be watching, but if you guys don't care about this, I'm not going to be talking about it in the videos and wasting your time, right? So let's just get onto the slip. You already know I'm going to goals allowed in the first 10 minutes and we're taking the over. And I'll show you this every single time. The over is always the correct play. If you go over to Bet365, check first 10 minutes. The total is set at minus 150 towards the over plus 110 towards the under. Basically, if we devig this, we're going to check minus 150 and plus 110. You have about a 55.75% chance for these two goalies to concede at least one goal. Yes, Bob has been an absolute unit. He did let in a bit of a weak goal last game, but honestly, he's been a unit. Stuart Skinner, obviously not as great as Bob, but in the first 10 minutes, we're hoping for a goal. And since we're hoping for that goal, we're going over to the points prop and taking Connor McDavid, who is very likely to be on the other side of a goal, especially within that first 10 minutes. And in all honesty, I want to stack up Connor McDavid with Evan Bouchard on his over assist. But as you guys know, as I film these videos, Price Picks is always taking these things off the board. I already did send a slip with Evan Bouchard over to the Discord, which is honestly the better play. But I kind of have to work with what I have right now as I'm filming these videos live. So that's going to be Leon Dreisaitl as the replacement for Evan Bouchard. And Bouchard's slightly better. I'll show you on props.cash. If we go over to Evan Bouchard's assist, he was set at minus 130 juice towards the over. As you can see right here, much better prop. You can see he did hit in the last 7 out of 10 games. Some of these games he was getting 2 assists, actually in 4 of the 10 games. And you can see the heavy juice towards the over. Instead, we're going to have to go with Leon Dreisaitl, which is a bit unfortunate. You're going to see it's a bit worse of a prop compared to Evan Bouchard. But he still does have juice towards the over. And honestly, the main reason I was liking Evan Bouchard over that is because Evan Bouchard is going to be playing with McDavid much more than Leon Dreisaitl is. Dreisaitl and McDavid are not on the same main line, but they are on the same power play unit, which is why it's still okay to take. So either way, on the power play unit, I mean, these guys are absolutely crazy together. So obviously, if Dreisaitl is getting assists, it's very likely Connor McDavid is going to be getting a point in that specific play too. And if Connor McDavid is getting two points, especially, very likely that Dreisaitl is going to be assisting at least one of those two. So that is the stack there. Pretty simple. I've explained this in every single video, every time I've taken this McDavid stack. So I'm not going to get into too much detail there. It is unfortunate that Evan Bouchard did get ripped off the board because what I originally had was Evan Bouchard on the assist. I took Dreisaitl and Sam Reinhardt on their over five and a half shots on goal combo because they're both juiced towards the over two and a half each. So look very good as a combo prop. But obviously, I can't take Dreisaitl's assist and a combo prop that contains him within the same entry. So I'm definitely going to have to adjust what I originally had planned, but we're going to go with this last prop as Lundell on his over one and a half shots on goal. So the idea is if he is getting two shots on goal, hopefully one of those is a goal and that could be within the first 10 minutes. Obviously, it's a bit of a stretch. It's way less correlated than it would have been if I took a shots goal combo. But again, I have to work with what I have. It's still a super correlated entry either way, especially because we have this stack between Dry Settle, McDavid, and the goals allowed in the first 10 minutes. And I probably should mention that Edmonton is down 2-0 in the series. They are at home tonight, expected to win. I believe this is the first game that they were actually favored to win. 
because the Panthers were at home the first two games. And honestly, they've been terrible. The Panthers have been all over them. Edmonton has not been scoring much. But if there was a night to bounce back, it would be tonight. And honestly, Edmonton's basically in the same spot that the Mavericks were in last night. And that did not go well for the Mavericks. But hopefully it does go a little bit better for Edmonton tonight. Before I lock in this slip, just to show you the juice on McDavid. Because I haven't showed you that yet. If we go over to props.cash once again, go to points. You're going to see some nice juice towards you. Over minus 125 on DraftKings. Minus 130 on BetMGM. And minus 122 on FanDuel. And then for Lundell, we're also going to see some juice towards the over. If we go over to shots on goals, you're going to see minus 125, minus 125, and minus 130. Two games that he did score versus New York Rangers and Boston. He did actually clear shots on goal prop in both these games. Got four here, got three here, and then in two other games where he got two exactly. He did not end up scoring, but either way, the juice tour is you over. Like I said, it's a very nice correlated play. This is going to be the first one. Moving on to the WNBA, I'm going to be taking two stacks, and the first one is going to be Natasha Cloud on her under 7.5 assist, and we're going to be stacking this up with Copper on her under 21.5 points. Let's take a deeper look at this one on props.cash. First thing you're going to notice is the consensus juice is towards the under, which is the first positive thing you want to see. We also have her filtered with every game with Natasha Cloud, which was basically every game this season. I don't believe they played without each other yet. This is 12 games of that, and she's only gone over this prop 5 out of 12 times, and we're going to see with Natasha Cloud. Similar concept here. She's only cleared this 5 out of 12 times, and a lot of these games do overlap. Obviously, not all of them, but the idea is when Natasha Cloud is going over assists, Copper is also having a very good standout game where Copper might drop like 38, 37 points, 32, whatever it may be. And as I go back and forth through these graphs, you can see a lot of green with a lot of green and a lot of red with a lot of red. And I counted for you guys in seven out of the 12 games that they played together, they did go under or over together. So basically in the same direction. So that's why I'm taking them tonight in the same direction. Obviously because Copper does have juice towards the under, but Natasha Cloud also has juice towards the under and pretty heavy juice here. You see on every single sports book, they have a juice towards the under. Bovada minus 125, DraftKings minus 135. ESPN bet minus 135, Bet Rivers minus 132, Hard Rock bet minus 135, and FanDuel minus 130. That is six sports books agreeing that the under is the play here. So we definitely want to be hammering this. I like this as a nice stack in the Phoenix game. Second play is also going to be a stack, but it's not going to be on assists and points. It's actually, going to be on points and points. So the play here is Ryan Howard on her over 15 and a half points and Cheyenne Parker on her under 10 and a half points. The idea here is if Howard is going over points, it's less likely for her teammates to also be going over the points. You're never going to see every girl on the team get over their points prop. Same thing in the NBA. If one guy's clearing his points props, it's less likely for his teammates to be also clearing the points props. And we can take a look at these girls on props.cash. FanDuel kind of has Howard at a 50-50 split. But Hard Rock Bet does have juice towards the over. Same with ESPN Bet. Same with DraftKings. Same with Caesars. And same with Bovada. So the juice is definitely on the over as a consensus. So I'm going with the over on this play. Then for Parker, it's the opposite. You'll see that the under 10.5 points does have consensus juice towards the under. Same on FanDuel, Fliff, Hard Rock Bet, ESPN Bet, Bet Rivers. Basically, every single sportsbook has their juice towards the under. So that's good for us because we're grabbing the under on Parker. We're grabbing the over on Howard. Once again, when I flicker through these graphs, you'll notice that when there's green on one specific day, there's a red for the other girl. And that's the inverse correlation we're kind of going for. In six out of 10 games this season, when one goes over, the other goes under. We're hoping that trend continues again tonight. This is going to be the second slip. So that is NHL and WNBA for tonight.